Hey, coaches. All right. Hey, coaches. Welcome to another edition of Talking Football with Coach Mackey. I'm your host, Coach Mackey. <clears throat> and what I wanted to talk about today is inside the Ron Mackey football coaching community, I had a member ask another coach, said, hey, we run the Wastick concept, but we have problems when we're facing a cover two team. They're taking away everything. How do you teach that? So I'm going to go over two different tags you can have that punish defenses when they do take it away. Because sometimes, let's be honest, defenses do take things away. So before we start, please give me a thumbs up if, uh, if this is helpful. And let me know in the comments two things. One, where are you from? And two, is it cockeyed like it was last time when I did this? Because that was kind of bad. I don't want it to be that way. I think I fixed it. Not quite sure. Now, when you're just joining us, I'm going to go ahead and draw up the why stick concept for you and show you what defenses or how defenses can take that away from you first off. So, we got this why stick concept with the why, running the stick, the shoot, mandatory outside release. He has to release outside of that guy. It is mandatory. That's big time. Now, over here... The F is running a one-step slant, and then what we have is the L running a hitch to an end. And quarterbacks, so the first thing, if they're taking away this side when you're running the stick, check to see if this is open, because the backside should be open. A lot of times, this corner is playing six yards off, so your quarterback should just take Take it and throw it right there at the hitch. I almost fell over. That's what he should do a lot of the time. So if you think that they're, they're taking away this front side concept, it may be you may not need a tag at all. You just need to start working this backside, this slant to the hitch. So first, that's my first thing for you. Check that out. So before I get into the tags, we have a lot of coaches here. Coach Angel, welcome. Coach Reed from Oklahoma, welcome. Coach John from Hawaii, hello. Coach uh, Keyworth from Colorado, thank you. Coach Michael from Illinois, thank you. Coach Rob from the UK, what's up, buddy? Coach Kyer, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm a, a Southern bumpkin <laughs> from Vancouver. What's going on? Coach Bogan from uh, Washington. Coach 2K from Birmingham, I appreciate it, guys. And coaches, if you're coming in, I am gonna go over two variations of the stick concept because I had a member inside the Ron Mackey football coaching community. A coach was like, hey, stick is getting taken away against cover two. We really don't know what to do. I need help. And I thought this would be a great video. And again, if you're just joining, the first thing is you may not even need a tag. You just need to uh, teach your quarterback to work backside, especially if this linebacker is blitzing like a lot of odd front teams do. You may be able to hit this skinny slant, or if this corner is way off, you can hit the hitch and just hit it over and over and over again until the defense adjusts. Now, let's say they don't. Let's say they press right here. They take that away. They're not blitzing. They're taking this away. Now, how do defenses take away the stick? This is how they do it out of cover two. This backer goes with the flat. This corner, or actually I've seen a lot, yeah, this backer right here sits on the stick. This corner takes the flat. This safety takes the vertical. That's how they usually match up. And I know what you're saying, coach, we can throw that whole shot between the corner and the safety. And if you got a dude that can, that is great. You can do it, peg it in there all the time. And a little tip, and I've learned that instead of saying, hey, throw the back shoulder or throw it in the back of their head, we've actually lowered it to their butt. <laughs> I say throw it right at their butt cheek. And the reason why is if we aim for the butt cheek, then it comes up to their back of their head. If I'm telling my kids to aim for the middle of their back or their head, the ball kind of goes up and it looks like a, a, a one that you want to catch on the run up here instead of turning around like this. But since we've changed the point to the butt, now it's actually hitting them in their frame for the back shoulder throw. Just use that if you're having difficulty with the back shoulder throw. I hope that makes sense. Now, this is what you can do. The first thing I would do is I would have a tag and I would do a stick and go. And what that tag would say, you could say uh, sticking up, stick and go, uh, sticky, whatever it is. Nothing changes for these two. They're still running their same stuff. Kind of change it on the back side. It changes the F to a corner route. And the reason why you want that corner route is because you wanna pry that safety out. So you wanna use the whole middle of the field because what's this safety doing? 
this safety has taken away this throw that your quarterback doesn't have the arm strength to make or is hesitant to throw. Now, you have the middle of the field wide open, you just do a stick and go. And he runs straight up the middle of the field. Now I know there's y'all defensive coordinators like, we'll blitz the piss out of it, but if you're blitzing from a cover two shell, you're giving up something to begin with. Then nine times out of 10, if you're in a too high shell, you are not blitzing because you're like, you know what, we're gonna play safe and take away the underneath, that is what I would do. So the stick and go, or the sticking up, or the sticky, or whatever it is you want to call, that's my first adjustment to that. And you're making him pay. Because now, he has to sit there. Let's say you hit it the first time. Next time you call stick, this cat is going to be mindful, and he is going to stay right here. That's what he's going to do. Now you actually have an easier throw for your quarterback if this corner takes that flat route. So that's the first thing. The next thing I would do is I would run the normal you know, stuff. And again, this tag, this is what's gonna happen on the backside. The tag I would use next, and I got this from Coach Patrick Taylor. If you don't know who Patrick Taylor is, you go back, watch some of my old stuff. I have a lot of, I have three of his, uh, his clinics. He's a phenomenal coach, air raid coach in North Carolina. What he does and what you can do if that safety is widening that far out, you have your guy outside release and then break it off into a post. Because now he's crossing your face, so you cross his. So if they sit on this uh, stick concept, now you have the middle of the field again wide open. So those are two adjustments against cover two. And again, like I was saying, I had a member inside the Ron Mackey football coaching community. He said that he's having a problems running stick against too high because the safety's taking away the vert. What are your some what are some adjustments? And these are some adjustments right here: sticking up and then the post backside. All right. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments before I go. We, again, I appreciate y'all being here. We have Coach Trey from California or Jermaine. I'm sorry, Coach uh, Gooden from Panama. Welcome. We have Coach uh, Tony, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, from France. We have Coach Oliver from Germany, Coach Bell from North Carolina, North Dakota. That's, that's, that's a lot of Norths. <laughs> uh, Coach Orange, can you draw this up versus single high? I can't coach. Actually, I can do that in another video. This was just a, a stick against cover two right now because I had a member ask me for it. Um, Coach Burris faced the cover two team, empty stick, and go to far hash by Wa out and up by number two, post by number one, pick your poison. You're right. You can do that if you're facing too high. I will say that if you have a running quarterback, uh, empty is a, empty or quads or something like that is a formation you should actually use. And if you don't believe me, you can look at a lot of teams are going empty. Now, hell, even uh, Washington State is going a little bit of empty and running some quarterback draws and things like that in the red zone because you have to, you're forcing the defense to account for everybody. So I, if you're not, that's not in your playbook, I would advise you to start using it a little bit. Uh, uh, Coach Chad from Georgia, Coach Ant, three by one. If they're doing three by one, let's see. So that's a good question. What do they do three by one? I would actually, if you check my other video, three by one, I would exclusively use the stick wheel concept at a three by one. It makes, can y'all see that? Yeah. It makes everything easier for your quarterback. Is everything on screen? It is. So let's say again, three by one, what we see is this, was that six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11? Hey, how many of y'all just by thumbs up or whatever still count when you draw it up? It doesn't matter how many times you draw up the formation or anything like that. You've got to make sure you have the exact number of defenders because you don't want to put 10 or 12 because I can't count one of my math teacher. I am a math teacher. That was a little joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So when we see this, this is what we've been seeing a lot of. We see that right there, man to man. <clears throat> All right. Which is fine because we're going to run him on a post anyways. And I know a lot of my content lately has been straight up stick wheel, but I think it's underutilized and we need to start implementing it into our offense because defense is like it when you go through by one, especially when you put the back on the weak side because there's only a certain amount of plays you can run and they have everybody to cover for. But if you go strong four-sided flood, 
shout out to Coach Banks about his four-sided uh, snag concept, you now put the defense in a bind, and that is something we have to do. The F now is running the wheeling up. What that does is that takes away that backer right there because anytime he sees a flat, and that's a key coaching point, make sure that he goes flat first for at least three steps, then up. He's got to take it, so he's running with. Now you're playing the game off of this guy. He takes the stick, I throw it. He takes this, or if he sits here, I throw this. If he flies here, then I throw this. What happens if this guy bites down? Well, now you can go back to your stick and go. You're sticking up or whatever. If you see that he is coming, you can, like this, stick and go. Right there, make sure you keep it skinny away from this guy. But if you want to, you can just do some kind of corner post right there to pry him open and leave the middle of the field wide open. That's what I would do right there. Or if you want to, if you know that he is taking this, and this is the beautiful thing about the stick wheel concept, he's taking that. Well, if the uh, corner is manned up with the R and you have time because your guys are just kind of sitting back and anything, you can tell them, hey, think wheel. I'm, I'm drawing a wheel right here and just throw it in this area right there in that grass area. You can do that all day and make the defense pay. And remember, all you have to do is just hit it one time. Once you hit it that one time, the defense is going to be like, oh crap, we can't do that anymore. Let's adjust and do something different. All right, I hope that helped right there. Let's see, Coach Tony from Brooklyn, welcome. What do you do when the back's away in three by two versus cover two? Um, I honestly, let's see, backs away, I would, if they're playing cover two, you know, I know all you guys in there are going, if they're cover two, shoot, just run the ball so you can tag the inside zone with the stick concept. You know, they're like this here. You can play off of them. Who, who do you want to give the stick to? Do you want it the F or the Y? That's one thing you have to do. If you want to really put him in a bond, you could have him run the stick and he run the arrow. And now really utilize, say, hey, use the space as much as possible. Use what area you have. So I like to run this to the wide side of the field and you can put him in a no-win situation and they use their space so well, he can't make the play. That's one thing you could do. If you use that, space and let's say you widen some coaches will always say hey linebacker you're playing over number two so you can widen them a little bit further everybody a little bit further like this and now you can run here and just have him turn around right there and just throw it to him really simple you can play with the space and that's something you need to use in practice and scrimmages and in games is Use the whole field. May, give your guys the ability to adjust their landmarks where they line up before the play even starts based on the play. That's something I learned from Noel Mazzoni. He talks about that. And that's something you can give your kids ownership. Once you teach them grass, they will kind of get it themselves. All right. So I hope this worked. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comment below. Again, Sunday at 4 o'clock uh, Eastern time. PM, not AM. Uh, I will be interviewing How Mummy. It'll be live. We're gonna, I'm going to uh, dry run it tonight to see if I can take the interview th uh, through Zoom onto your Facebook or YouTube so you can see it live as it's happening. You can ask questions. He has a huge announcement as well. So check that out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification button to the side. I don't know which one. I'm dyslexic left or right. Uh, if there is anything else that you have, leave them in the comments. Coach Agent, will Coach Mummy be taking questions? He's going to take some of them. All you got to do is just watch. I will ask questions as I see him on there. Right now, I'm just geeking out because that he is a hero of mine, and I am excited to not only have him on as the first coach ever as a, a cross-country live stream through YouTube, but he also has a huge announcement that he's going to be making on my channel. This is the first time he's ever announced anything like this. I don't even know what it is. But he is going to announce it on my channel, so that is a game changer right there. I hope you're, you uh, join us. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment, subscribe. And until next time, coaches, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. I will see you all later.